How's it going guys? I'm Dan with Kentucky Power Sports and this video has been a long time coming on the A-liners. We recently picked these up and started selling these. Uh, this one in particular behind me is an LXE off-road. Uh, as you'd like to come over here and take a look, this has a battery box, propane, move forward you have jacks on all four corners it will come with a crank handle so then you can adjust this properly and get it level when you're camping it will have a nice light here so it makes it easy to see what you're doing late at night if you have to change out the propane moving forward from that again this is an LXE model this is the off-road package so it does sit a little bit higher than the normal models do and does have the two steps instead of a single step which is kind of a big thing with the off-road package it makes it really easy to get in and out of this unit moving forward again you have another light here to kind of light up this little area make sure it's easy for you to uh, maybe plug in some type of uh, maybe a fan maybe a cooler something along those lines moving back again you have a grill which is a really handy feature if you want to grill on the outside this is a really nice thing to have it's already plumbed ready to go with the propane all you have to do is just turn it on press ignite and it's ready to go moving forward to the other side of this camper each of these campers will be ready for solar power hookup so i have to do hook up a solar panel and this will be able to power a lot of that inside um, not everything like the ac is a little bit too big for a solar panel but anything else would be great for that Past that, there is a shower right here. So if you need to wash off your feet, this is a really good thing to have. Um, and one thing to mention is this does have an 11 gallon water holding tank, which is really handy to have for when you need to go off grid and you need to be able to shower or even have wash your hands or something along those lines. There is a drain located right here. So you can drain that 11 gallon water tank as well as a drain here for the shower and sink, which we will go over here shortly in the video. There is an exhaust here for the furnace and two intakes here for the uh, air conditioning. Moving back, 30 amp Sure power plug in here. It is a twist plug. Antenna satellite here. Moving back, you do have your igniter here for the propane furnace and behind this panel. Still easy to service. You have your fill up here for your 11 gallon water tank. And then right here is where you would hook up your, uh, like a garden hose at your campsite. Uh, so then you could uh, use any of your sinks or anything along those lines. Another thing to mention is this model does come with a spare tire that matches the other two tires that are on the unit. Another thing to mention is we do have LED lights around the entire unit. Moving forward, another really good thing to mention is the fact that this unit does have plenty of storage. Underneath here, you'll have a storage cavity there. Moving on from that, down here we have the cassette toilet, which we'll show you the toilet here in just a moment. Um, but this is where you would get to that cassette. It'll come out just like that, go dispose of it, put it right back in, you're ready to go again for the next night. Now that we've taken a look on the outside, let's move on to the inside. Looking here, we have a courtesy light. Makes it easy to step in and out of the unit at the nighttime. Fire extinguisher and your AC is located here and your heat. You have all your different modes, your fan speed, of course your climate control. Moving forward, you have the kitchen area. You'll have a sink. Down here are your controls for the uh, heat pump for your water um, as well as the pump for the water. And your auxiliary light will tell you when the pump is on. You have an indoor grill, microwave, and a refrigerator, which is going to be 12 volt powered, propane, and sure power, which has decent storage inside of it, gives you plenty of options. Counter space, which the outside grill will go on to here when you're finished. Moving from this side of the room to the other, right here is going to be your both bathing area and your restroom does have a shower and a toilet there, which is a cassette style. Now moving on to the dinette area. Good spot to have a lunch. Underneath, there is storage located here. Plenty of storage there for any of your odds and ends. To the other side, you have your breaker box, a 12 volt cigarette lighter, and an auxiliary cord for your TV. From there, this area here will turn into a queen-size bed. And as you can see from a 
dinette to a queen size bed where that uh, dinette table will fold down into an area for the cushions to go and making plenty of room to sleep. Another thing to mention is there is a smoke detector on all the models as well as a fantastic fan equipped with the models that we have in stock. Another thing to mention is all these models will have a dimmable light which is handy to have. While we're in here I'll go ahead and show you everything below this line has to be down before we can fold the unit down. So make sure everything's closed. Next up bring down the walls. And here's what it's taking down the unit looks like from the outside. And just like that, this A-liner is down, ready for transport. If you guys have any questions about these units or looking to purchase one, call me or call at Kentucky Power Sports.